Hi, hello. Yes, IT careers are becoming more and more interconnected and so many people do not know how to hold the different terms into their real um, places. So we hear artificial intelligence, we hear internet of things, we hear machine learning and stuff like that. Today, I'm going to take some time to differentiate between AI and internet of things. So AI is artificial intelligence, as you might all know. It's all about making a machine, a thing, anything intelligent. So like the human learns through senses, we get impulses through sight, touch, smell, hearing. So when we get these impulses, we know how to react. When we smell, if it's a good smell, we go closer. If it's a bad smell, we move away. And we could talk, we could touch things and feel it when it's hot. We react to hot things and cold things depending on how hot it is we know how to move away or to come closer so when we are hungry we get food to eat or we let it go if we are thirsty so all these aspects are the ways humans learn and artificial intelligence is all about getting things cars fridges phones watches all kinds of pacemakers all kinds of devices like anything we try to attach sensors on them and get, let them get senses and react like the humans will react to these things. You must have noticed some aspects of robotics in it even. So creating some of these um, devices these days, not like in the, the old industrial time where we had the robot arm that was automated to do certain activities constantly. Now we are having robots that are doing behaving like humans. So the act of robots, building robots, and giving them intelligence to actually look like humans or look similar to living things and behave like them. This brings also the robotic aspect and the AI aspect together. But we're on the AI, that's what we're talking about. So we add sensors, sight sensors, touch sensors, motion sensors, temperature sensors. We add different kinds of sensors onto devices and let them react to these sensors. It could be locally from where we are without any need for networking or internet. So we can train by giving in data to a device and let it learn how to react to this data by making experiences. On the other hand, if we attach it to the internet, we start going closer to internet of things, which is all about intelligent devices getting access to the internet. So the world is using internet now more and more, and there is a need to ease work. We don't have to hire people or depend on others heavily to do stuff for us. So the AIoT, as most people call it today, artificial intelligence and internet of things, together, they could give you something like a highly intelligent fridge. It makes a decision to order food for you before you do, so you don't run out of stuff. So if you are somebody who is handicapped and cannot really see well or drive well, more and more intelligent cars are coming in that are connected to the internet. They can forecast, predict, and, and precede things. So it could drive for you without you hiring a driver or depending heavily on another to do this work for you. It could be an intelligent watch connected to your bank account and it actually takes stock of your daily balances and balances your bank account before you even get there. It could be a watch you're carrying on you, monitoring all your health data and actually storing them on your phone. There is so much to learn in these spaces. The AI, which also carries the deep learning and the machine learning, it carries this sector and when, when it comes together with internet of things like being attached to the internet it makes a it brings a whole new flexibility in usage there is however the danger that the security aspects must must also be learned while we use all these devices so this brings me back to the very beginning we see how robotics ai internet of things Deep learning, machine learning are all interconnected. Then we also have the aspect of data, which is now being produced in big amounts in the cloud systems. And there are interfaces like Siri or other search engines that could search this um, data and give us reasonable information. There are also mostly in raw form. So we need 
people who can analyze this data and we use them to teach devices or use them for our day-to-day -day activities, then the aspect of cyber security being also as a kind of mantle to protect all of these aspects because we are all exposed right now to the open internet and stuff like that. Great! In the hope that this helps you, thank you for watching. Bye-bye now!